Hello, my name is Frederick and in this video I'll be showing you how to use the XLOOKUP function in Excel. The XLOOKUP function is basically the only lookup function you need to know. It can replace the VLOOKUP, index match, and other lookup functions. So let's jump right in. XLOOKUP function has three compulsory function arguments. The first argument is the lookup value and your lookup value is simply the value that you have and you want to search with. It can be your staff ID, your staff name, your product ID, and so on and so forth. In our case, we're going to be using our staff name here. And I'm going to use a comma to go to the next function argument, the lookup array. The lookup array simply means the row or column in your data which contains your lookup value. And in this case, since we are using our staff name, our lookup array is going to be the whole of this column and i'm going to use a comma to go to the next function arguments the return array the return array simply means the row or column in your data that contains the answer or the value you want to return and in this case since we want to return the department our department column here is going to be our return array now i can close my bracket and hit enter and i am going to get the department for the staff name have sat at the bc what if i change this to a different staff rose obu and i'm going to get her department x lookup automatically pull that in now, let us quickly write it once more for our salary so equals to x lookup our lookup value is going to be staff name comma our lookup array is going to be this column with our staff name, comma. Our return array is going to be this column with our salary. You close the brackets and hit enter. To format this as a number, I can just use my control shift one. Thank you very much for watching. In another video, I am going to show you how to handle missing values with your XLOOKUP. Bye for now.